100. And uh, we have a repeater uh, in Lackawanna, which is kind of our city repeater, and that's 444-150. 44150, that's a hub for several other repeaters, but I will give you a complete list. But those two, he will have no problem with a base station getting in. Uh, and uh, the PL tone is 88.5, both encode, decode, and so program encode, decode, and you don't hear anything else. So 444.1, 444.15, uh, of course, up 5 kilohertz, uh, or 5 megahertz, rather, for, uh, for UHF and uh, 88.5 encode, decode. Hey, that's great, Dick. Thanks an awful lot. I appreciate it. I will try to see if we can't get him on the air real soon. Uh, 73s to you. Uh, again, this is Pete in uh, Rochester, and my uh, call is KE2CST. Yeah, great, Pete. You know it sounds good. And, uh, yeah, he could, if he's got it hooked up, he could certainly be listening. One of those two would be good, and I can give them other ones, but uh, I don't have Lancaster committed to me. That would, of course, be the, uh, the memory here. That would, of course, be the, this one, but that's connected to only a certain time. Uh, I need to get something up in that area. I've been saying that for 20-some years. I started building repeaters in 1969, so it's not new to me, but... Uh, I, I, I don't have anything up in the North Mountain area uh, at this particular time. I'm always looking for some, something up in the uh, North Town to deploy something for an access point, which, uh, you know, would help. But uh, it'll be fine. And uh, I'll look forward to your email. I'll give you the rest of the frequencies and so forth. Pete. Have a nice day. This is Simple Get Me to JP. Well, again, thanks. Uh, 73 to you, KE to CSC. A quick question for you, Dick, KE7K. Yeah, this is Dick Lancaster. Uh,
show other nodes at that same site uh, if at least one of them is connected enough. So I've updated the other one to 47.15 and, and reset the, the connected percentage. So uh, in two minutes when the thing runs again, that should uh, show back up in green. You know, I'm surprised I didn't catch that. <laughs> yeah, geez, that's been at least, oh man, at least two years. Maybe longer, maybe three years. Um, it's funny because I was just talking. That that is that higher up, and I don't even remember the number that you gave me. But that uh, that is the one that I was kind of I kind of wanted to uh, deploy up into the north town, but I needed a home port that I was just talking to uh, <coughs> uh, Pete about to get something up uh, near where there's where his brother-in-law is. And trying to do that for 20 some years and it hasn't been very successful but uh it was real success before these uh high right building owners uh, found out the, the rooftops are worth uh the cellular industry destroyed uh, <laughs> free rent you know and, uh, and 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 putting a repeater on a rooftop with a handshake you know all of a sudden they found out they could make lots of money uh, by uh, letting the cellular companies up there and uh, the handshakes for the hams didn't do too much. Yeah, understood. We actually had our, our uh, local board meeting associated with in the September and one of the things that we were talking about, and I feel like David has, has mentioned this to us too, but um, lots of these towers that we're on, they're now requiring these multi-million dollar insurance policies that we take out that are, you know, going to cost us several thousand dollars, and it's just sort of a, a non-starter for a, a small non-profit to, to be able to chunk out that kind of money. W R two UHF. 